morning, EBC kids, and welcome to another week of Game On! It is Miss Erin here, and I am so excited to share with you this week that we are going to be talking about praying. Do you know what praying is? Hmm. Praying is talking to God. You know, God is always ready, and He's always listening. And you can talk to God just like you talk to someone else. He wants to know what you're happy about, what you're sad about, what you or others need help with. And he's so loving and he cares so much for us that it's really easy just to say, hey God, thanks for this day. Or God, I'm feeling a little worried about this. Can you help me have peace? Today in our Bible story, it's talking about Peter. And when Peter was in prison, he had some friends that were praying for him. Do you think that they just prayed for him just a tiny little bit? Do you think they would go to sleep and then get up in the morning and do all of their things and then just pray for five seconds? No, while Peter was in prison, his friends prayed a lot. Sometimes they would stay up all night praying for him. So check out our Bible story today. Hey yo! Sensei Atare here. Brilliant work unlocking this portion of Game On. As your wiser advisor, I'm here to help you in whatever way you need. You've already tapped into how important it is to push through and work hard. But you are realizing that asking for help is also a big part of the game. The best help anyone can ever get comes from asking God. He is the ultimate source of wisdom. In the book of Acts, Peter knew it was important to tell other people about Jesus, but he got in trouble for doing it and was sent to jail. Peter's friends were very concerned about him and prayed all night long for God's help. Even though they probably got tired, they kept on praying. God heard their prayers and one night, an angel appeared to Peter and said, Get up and get dressed. At first, Peter thought he was dreaming. He followed the angel out of the prison gate and into the city. When the angel left him, he could not believe he was free. He went to Mary's house, where his friends were together praying for him. When he knocked on the door, a young girl heard his voice and got so excited, she ran to tell the others that Peter was free but she forgot to open the door. But Peter kept on knocking. When his friends finally opened the door, they were amazed that God had heard their prayers and had helped free Peter from jail. As we run the race of life, just like Peter did, we need to remember that we can keep on praying. It's the best and wisest thing to do for help. Sensei Atare is proud of you, and because you keep on asking for help, I, your wiser advisor, was able to come to you to open up the tunnel to level four. Sayonara! Can you guys say this after me? I will keep on praying. Good job. God wants us to feel like we can talk to him any time at all. One thing that I see this series talking about a lot this Game On series that we're in right now is the thought about endurance. Endurance is the capacity of something to last or to withstand wear and tear. Hmm, that's an interesting definition. Basically, you know, if you're in a race and you're running, you have to endure by keeping on running and you build up your endurance, you build up your ability to withstand this race by practicing. So you want to be able to run. If you're in a long, long, long race, you want to be able to run that whole time. You don't want to have to stop because you haven't exercised or worked at it. You want to be able to keep on going. So just like a race that I was just talking about, the Bible talks about the race of life. And that's our memory verse. Do you guys remember? 
I'm going to do the actions and I want to see if you remember any of the words. Now I'm going to give you a hint. The first three words are in a race. Okay, so I'm going to start the actions. In a race, but only Do you remember? But only one gets what? The prize. So that you will get the prize. Let me say the whole memory verse and do the actions, okay? I hope that you got some of the words. Here we go. In a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. So run in a way that you will get the prize. Our memory verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Let's get up on our feet and get ready to dance. I'm going to play two songs today. The first one is with and the second one is a new one. Get ready. You've unlocked the next level. I, 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 I will follow you, God. I, 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 I will live for you. I, 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 I will keep pressing on until I have reached the prize. 